Looking at art on a normal text and JPEG website can be great, but it doesn't really feel like you're looking at the art in real life. And seeing art on TV can be beautiful, but it suffers from the tyranny of the edit. The director chooses what you look at and for how long. You can't follow your own interests in your own time. So again, it's not like seeing art at an exhibition. We were asked to make a site for a major show of street art at Tate Modern in London. We wanted to combine interactivity and video to make a site that felt a bit more like you were actually looking at the art in real life. This is TateStreetArt.com. Apart from a few thumbnails, there is not one single still photo on the site. Everything is done with video loops. So the trees, water and people move, but you can look at any scene for as long as you like. Some of the loops have linear videos attached to them which don't repeat, like this ship going past. At any time, you can click on hotspots which link you to other video loops. The videos are all shot on HD and shown online at 1008 by 576 pixels, which is a lot bigger than regular TV images and about as much bandwidth as most computers can currently handle. We like to get so close to an artwork that you can really see what it's made of, like these bricks and spots of paint. You also get an instinctive sense of scale from passers-by, like the spider you can see crawling across the top of the picture. There is also a commentary from the curator of the show, Cedar Lewison. He talks about each one of the works. Let's have a listen. So here we have the work of Nunca, who's a young artist from Brazil. The, the, the work is almost um, a bit of a joke on the, the street art exhibition, the idea of these kind of wild, uh, outsider-ish street artists being exhibited at one of the most establishment museums in the world. It's a kind of so, so many contradictions. And I think Nunca's work really comments on that very closely in terms of this wild, savage drinking this cup of tea in a very, um, you know, polite and uh, dainty way um, after he's perhaps just, you know, eaten one of the uh, passers-by of Tate Modern, who knows. So I think it's quite a, um, you know, quite a funny gesture to have made, let's say. <laughs> the site also lets you explore the back streets behind Tate Modern and see them in the day and at night. This site attempts to combine the strengths of video and regular web to make a presentation of art which is a lot more like looking at art in real life. This linear video is of course just a crude simulation, so please visit the live site at tatestreetart.com. Thanks for watching.